Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Foundation plugin. Um, my name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and I am developing these plugins and I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about the Foundation plugin today. Um, <clears throat> really the Foundation plugin has taken a the development of it has taken a back seat um, to the other two bigger plugins, the uh, wall plugin and the trust plugin. But um, you know, it, it's it has needed some attention, and so the last week or so, I've been uh, working on adding some parametrics to the plugins because previously it has never had that ability. So I'm going to start off actually just by grabbing uh, this grid tool here. It's a handy little tool, and I'm going to put a grid out here just to make things a little easier for me. <clears throat> and so what I like to do is I usually start with a grid and then I'll go ahead and I'm going to jump right into the um, polygon shape uh, foundation uh, slab on grade um, and uh, to be clear uh, really the only um, type of foundation right now that has any parametrics associated with it is the slab on grade so I haven't extended that to the uh, stem wall or the uh, regular slab yet and of course these uh, three other buttons are still under development so let's start uh, with a polygon shaped um, slab on grade. Of course we could choose a face if we had a face already predefined. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this grid and throw down a few points here. I'm just going to make a real simple uh, sort of T-shape configuration here just to demonstrate. <coughs> and, um, and and of course as always you need to close out the uh, this loop uh, to create the foundation. As soon as you do, it will of course pop you up with this menu here. We should go ahead with the defaults. And I'm going to turn the slab reinforcement off just so things go a little quicker right now for demonstration purposes. And then I'm going to um, just use defaults there as well. So when we do that, of course we get a, s a foundation <coughs> polygon shape. And this hasn't changed from what was previous. And actually I'm going to go ahead and just change this to uh, kind of a transparent color so we can see what's going on inside this thing. Okay, so there's our typical sort of slab on grade thickened edge foundation. Um, <coughs> so the first thing you'll notice now is that when you, well first of all there is no edit button up here in the toolbars, okay. But if you right click on this assembly, you now have two options. You can uh, edit the foundation um, or you can edit the outline. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit the foundation first. And so what this does, it's going to pull up a whole list of parameters that give you options for changing slab thickness, and footing depth, and top bar, rebars, and, and that sort of thing. So right now we're going to go ahead and <coughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's change this depth to say 24 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and include uh, insulation because it's going to be a um, <coughs> a shallow uh, foundation. Okay, so go ahead and hit update. Okay, okay and now you can see that, um, yeah, you can edit edit this thing quite handily, um, whereas before it was just, you know, fire and forget, so you have to recreate the foundation. So now, for instance, um, <coughs> let's say that we want, uh, you know, two rebar at top and bottom of that footing. Go ahead and hit update again. And if you watch here you should see it um, give it just a second. Okay, so now we've got more rebar in that uh, footing. Okay. So basically the edit function is similar to all the other plugins. Um, you know, you, you know, you close it out, you hit it again, and <coughs> it allows you to change up most of these parameters. The one thing you will notice though right now is that you cannot do internal footings. And the reason is is because I am changing the way um, that is done with this plugin. So previously when you want to do an internal footing, you know, in the first menu, it asks you for a, where that location of the internal footing is. The problem is it limits you to only one footing, you know, and it only in one direction. So <coughs> with some of these more complex foundations, there are a lot of footings crisscrossing all over this thing so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a whole new way of handling internal footings kind of similar to what I'm doing in the uh, wall plugin with windows and doors so you will have uh, separate editable internal footings that you can place throughout this uh, slab on grade foundation okay so now we'll get to the more interesting part <coughs> so here's your foundation um, 
Yeah, you can edit pretty much everything. Now, the, you know, there will be situations where you may extend a room or do something on a corner or do a pop out or or something you want to change up and you don't want to have to recreate the foundation. So, what you will want to do is you want to right click on this and you want to edit the outline. Okay? And when you do that, <clears throat> the first thing you notice is you can get this little menu pop up here that just basically allows you to commit the operation. So, when you hit update, it will take whatever you have in this um, face <coughs> and it will turn that into the foundation. So you need to click into this face, okay, and you need to edit it. And you can edit it, you know, however you want. So I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to move it, oh, I don't know, let's move it to that way. And then just to get interesting, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to shave this corner off. Okay, and you can do whatever you want to this uh, face. Um, there's no restrictions. Just the only the only real restriction is that this face, it must be a face, and you must maintain a face, and it needs to be, of course, on the <coughs> on the, uh, the Z plane, but it needs to be a single loop. You can't have holes in it. You can't have you know discontinuous sort of things going on or multiple lines crisscrossing across it. It needs to be just a single loop face okay so now once we've done that you don't have to click out you can if you want and just hit update so we're gonna go ahead and hit update okay I'm gonna give it a second it's thinking and it's thinking some more and basically it's recreating that face or that foundation sorry okay so you can see now what we've got so it basically just edits uh, takes takes that face and regens that whole entire foundation with a new face. Now if, <coughs> if, if for whatever reason you um, you know if you get in there and you you don't want to regen it like let's say we go outline okay so if we if we want to like cancel out just hit close okay and what's happening by the way is that when you when you hit this uh, button you'll notice over here in your layers um, Okay, so notice how it's hidden, temporary hidden. These layers are, are the, the foundation itself has not gone away. It's just temporarily hiding some of these layers just so it kind of puts focus on this uh, face that you need to edit. So, <coughs> um, yeah, the, it's, it's, not, it's actually not destroying that uh, geometry just quite yet. So, let's go ahead and close out. Okay, so that is a polygon shape slab on grade foundation with uh, full parametric abilities now. So like I said, you have the foundation, this this uh, uh, item here in the context menu allows you to edit you know, all the parameters associated with that foundation and then this one allows you to edit the actual profile or outline of that foundation. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete this real quick and I'm going to uh, let's go back up here. So let's just go ahead and do a rectangle, just just as a quick demo on that. Um, so rectangle is pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, it's much simpler, of course. It's just a rectangle. Okay, let's just use all the defaults here. We're not going to get too fancy. Sure, turn on the insulation while we're at it. For whatever reason, my computer's a little slow today. Did I hit that? Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. I didn't hit it. Um, <coughs> so yeah, here's your rectangle foundation. Rectangular foundations are. Um, so yeah, there's no profile to edit per se, um, and you'll notice that too when you go here. There's only one item, which is edit the foundation. There is no edit outline. If you want to change up the geometry of that foundation, basically, you know, you've got the foundation width and you've got the foundation length. So let's change this say to 24. Hit update. <coughs> and now it's, it changes its size. So really it's just a size thing. So, I, uh, you know, that there's not too much going on here. Um, not really any new features per se, but really what I'm giving you now is the ability to edit um, these foundations. And so uh, to start with, we're starting with a slab on grade. You have the ability to edit all uh, polygon shape or rectangular shaped foundations. And again, this is a you know new feature, so um, I did my best to 
you know get any of the bugs in it but or get get rid of any of the bugs but um, yeah, I'm sure there will be a few ones that pop up that I haven't been able to, to find yet so anyways I appreciate you guys support if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me and once again thank you um, and uh, we will keep up uh, the, the work and development on these plugins and keep it going so appreciate it thank you